Hi, my name is Anthony Leon, and this is Art in Isolation. When you think about Oakland, you might think of a lot of different things, but there's a beauty to Oakland that you're probably not going to see on television or online right now. Because of all the protests, what happened was all these businesses had to cover up all their glass fronts with boards. So artists out here took it upon themselves to paint them, fill them with color and messages of social justice. I'm going to go speak to a muralist, Christina Shu. Let's go talk to her. My name is Christina Sue. January, I decided I would take the leap and become a full-time artist. Didn't know COVID was going to happen. I was a closet painter. <laughs> I would paint in secret <laughs> for a really long time. You know, it's, it's daunting to become an artist, especially right now. It's always daunting to be an artist, um, but I figured I had to make the push. And luckily, I live in the Bay Area where people are very supportive and uh, communities are always looking for artists. This is her second mural here in Oakland. Her first is right next to the BART station where back in 2009, Oscar Grant was killed by police officers. That runs along BART by Fruitvale Station and that was like a huge, a huge win for me and I'm really grateful that I was able to do that even during the beginning phases of, of COVID. Her new mural is located near Lake Merritt, an area that has seen a lot of gentrification recently. Christina is excited to work on this location as she has some history next to it. I used to live over here just around, like up that hill, right by the Whole Foods. Um, so this is really nostalgic for me. Um, it was a really like important time in my art career when I lived here. So coming, walking down these streets, it just, it's just really meaningful to me. Besides the coronavirus, peaceful protests that have sometimes grown destructive have also hurt businesses. I'm trying to transform this space into a dispensary for um, cannabis. And what they're doing is they're hiring people who are incarcerated for marijuana crimes and giving them the opportunity to have work again coming out of the prison system. You know? And that plays into what she hopes the mural will convey to the public. Overall idea was about unity. For, for the colors and the flower and the, and the little bubble concept, it's, it's my way of um, showing that we're all really connected. I think I have a unique way of, of putting those colors together. And I think although they're all very bold and bright, it's not jarring and <laughs> just like, a, yeah, I think uh, I, I hope that people are finding it to be soothing. For this mural, Christina is working with a nonprofit called Paint the Void. It connects businesses with artists. So Paint the Void is a nonprofit organization. Um, they get, they write grants and get government funding, or people donate um, to help them pay for artists. And while 2020 has been hard for many, Christina sees the positive side. I know that it's paused a lot of projects for me, but at the same time, given me the opportunity to work with these organizations that are specifically helping artists get back into the community and specifically with storefront art, you know, because a lot of businesses have, have been targeted or um, just got caught in the, in the middle of things. And a way that we've protected ourselves and the businesses is to put up boards and a way that we we're protecting our, our mental health is like finding artists and having us paint on these boards. Beyond COVID, I hope we continue to like put more attention into the arts because that's how we move forward as people, I believe. And the art is going to stay up here in Oakland. Many of the stores say they're going to keep the pieces, but put them inside when they reopen. I'm Anthony Leong, and this is Art in Isolation. Hit the subscribe button and like to see more from Art in Isolation. You can also follow Christina Shu and Paint the Void on Instagram. We have their links in the comments.